Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, today's lesson is about money and the substrate is loss. What is loss? Loss, it's when, for instance, when you're doing a business of buying and selling goods or products, and it, it happens that after buying a product, when you come to sell it, you sell at a price less than the buying price or the cost price. For example, let's say that you're a fruit vendor. You go to buy fruits in a sack to come and sell them. Inside here there are fruits and you go to buy and the buying price or what you call cost price is equal to 750 shillings. When you come to sell your fruits, you sell them at 550 shillings. This is the selling price. Therefore, in this situation, you have made a loss. That is, you have lost your money simply because you spent 750 buying these fruits. But when it comes to selling, you have sold your fruits at 550. Meaning your money has gone down from 750 to 550. Therefore, this is what you call loss. For to realize a loss, you sell an item less than the cost price. Therefore, if you want to get loss, loss is equal to buying price. Also called cost price. We call it a cost price because in any business transaction, for you to make a profit or a loss, you have to consider all the expenditures that have been incurred. That is transport. If, you, for instance, you take lunch, that lunch, and also the cost you incur in buying the item. All these are put together as expenditures. Therefore, you have to factor in all that in order to know whether you are making a profit or a loss. So, buying price or cost price take away selling price. As you can see here, the selling price is less than the buying price. So, you can't say a small number means a big number. You will get a negative. Therefore, it's going to be 750, which is our cost price, take away our selling price of 550. When you take away, you get 200. Therefore, this person made a loss of 200 shillings. Let's get more examples. We are told that Juma bought a bag of lemons for Kenyan shillings 180 and sold it for Kenyan shillings 150. What was the loss? From our first example, we have said that for you to make a loss, you have to sell less than the buying price. And as you can see in the question, we are being told this was the buying price because of the word bought. Bought is the past tense of buy. So this was the buying price and this is the selling price. As you can see, the selling price is less than the buying price. Obvious now you are able to predict that you made a loss. So let's work it out. We have said loss is equal to buying price or cost price. Take away selling price. In this case, our cost price is 180 shillings. Take away our selling price, which is 150 shillings. 180 take away 150, you get 30 shillings. Therefore, our answer is, he made a loss of Kenyan shillings, 30 shillings. Let's get another example. In this question, we are told that John bought a hen for shillings 230. After selling it, he made a loss of 5 shillings, what price did he sell the hen? Here, we need to read this question slowly as we analyze it step by step. In the question, we are given the buying price because of the white bot. So these, these are buying price. After selling it, he made a loss of 5 shillings. So this is the loss that he made. 
And the question is about the selling price. We are being asked about the selling price. Therefore, for us to get the selling price, we have to write down the formula of getting loss. How do we get loss? Loss is equal to buying price or cost price take away selling price. The next step after writing the formula, you replace whatever you are given the question to the formula or you quit. Whatever you are given the question to the formula, we are given loss. So whenever you have loss, we put the loss on that side and our loss is 5 shillings is equal to uh, buying price and our buying price was 230 take away selling price that you don't know so we give it an algebraic letter like y so after that now we apply the rule of algebra that is we put like terms together so this crosses the equal sign comes to the other side of the equal sign it was negative it becomes positive and this crosses over to the other side of the equal sign it was positive now it becomes negative therefore y is equals to 230 take away 5 and our y is equals 225 therefore our selling price as you can see is less than the buying price and that's why it made a loss in this question we are told that chapter bought 40 meters of materials for shillings 2840 she then sold the material at shillings 68 per meter how much was the loss when you're reading a mathematical problem it's wise to read as you analyze it step by step don't read like a passage take your time and go step by step so let's read the question now step by step so he bought 40 meters of materials for shillings 2804 so these are by price four means these 40 materials are costing all of them 2840 so our buying price is equal to 2840 the next thing is she then sold the materials at shilling 68 per meter now this is the selling price but the selling price is per meter therefore we can get total selling price by saying if one meter or a meter cost 68 and he bought a total of 40 meters will cost how much that is whatever you don't know, put a letter like x so we cross multiply so that's x one times x is x is equal to 68 times 40. 68 times 40 i put my zero up there then my four down there to ease my multiplication so four times zero is zero four times eight is 32 Red two carry three 4 times 6 is 24. 24 plus 3 is 27. Therefore, the selling price is a total of 2,720. As you can see, he made a loss because he sold less than the way he bought it. And that's why the question is, how much was loss? And how do we get loss? Loss is equal to buying price or cost price, take away selling price. And our buying price here was 2,840 take away 2,720. So 2,840 take away 2,720. 0 take away 0 is 0. 4 take away 2 is 2. And 8 take away 7 is 1. 2 take away is 0. And our loss is a loss of 120 shillings. Let's get another example. A hawker bought 100 oranges at shillings 5 each. 25 oranges got spoiled and she sold the remaining oranges at shillings 6, 6 shillings and 50 cents each. What loss did she make? So as I said earlier, we need to read analyzing step by step. So the buying price, we don't know, but we are told that he bought 100 oranges at shillings 5 each. Meaning one orange was being bought at five shillings. So we can get the total buying price by saying if one orange costs five shillings, what about a hundred oranges will cost how much? So we cross multiply and our X is going to be 500. Therefore, these are buying price. Now let's move to the next step. 25 oranges got spoiled. Now let's analyze the question up to this point. Initially, the oranges were 100, 
but 25 are now spoiled. How many oranges are remaining for the hawker to sell? Therefore, 100 take away 25 is equals to 75 oranges. So these are the oranges that remained for the hawker to sell. And we are being told that as we continue the question, she sold the remaining oranges at 6 shillings and 50 cents each. What loss? So let's reach up to this point. We want now to get the selling price for the remaining oranges, which are 25. And one orange was being sold at 6 shillings and 50 cents. What about 75 oranges be sold at how much? These are the X. So you cross, multiply. X is equal to 650 times 75. Remember, these are 50 cents and these are 6 shillings. So we, cross, we multiply. 5 times 0 is 0. 25 carry 2. 30 plus 2. 32. 7 times 0 is a 0. 7 times 5 is a 35. Carry 3. And 7 times 6 is 42. 42 plus 3 is 45. Then you put together the 0, 5, 7, 8, 4. Remember two, two decimal places. So 1, 2. Therefore, the selling price was 487 shillings and 50 cents. So let's get the loss. Loss is equal to buying price or cost price take away selling price. And our buying price was 500 shillings. Take away 0 0.00 cents. You don't have any cents, so that's why we're putting 0, 0 cents. Take away 487 sh 87 shillings, 0 0.50 cents. We borrow one shilling, get many 489 shillings. That one shilling of your borrow is equivalent to 100 cents. So 100 minus 50 is 50 cents. 9 take away 7 is 2. 9 take away 8 is 1. And 4 take away 4 is 0. So he made a loss of shillings. 12 shillings and 50 cents. I wish you the best. Kindly subscribe, press the notification bell, and also leave a comment. Also, practice. Practice makes perfect. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.